Uh, I grew up in Massachusetts uh, and uh, spent summer on Cape Cod, which is pretty great. Uh, the Atlantic Ocean seems a lot less scary than the Pacific Ocean, I gotta be honest. I think the Atlantic Ocean smells better and the Pacific Ocean s s uh, sounds better. Think about that. <laughs> I do, it's actually a fairly uh, well thought out theory. I didn't say it very well, but that's what I mean. Um, I've been working on my songwriting lately. I've been trying to become better at what I do. Most of my songs are first person narratives, first and second person. Me, you, me, my thing, my thoughts, my needs, I, 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 I. The vast majority of my songs go like this. I love you and you left me and I'm pissed. That's basically 98% of my catalog. Right there. Uh, and then there's actually like the addendum, which is like, but I'd love for you to come, come back for the weekend. <laughs> and we'll go to that place that we like to go to. We'll do that thing. And then go. Get away from me, because I hate you. That's like, that's most of my songs. I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to write songs with characters. Metaphor, all these things, and I, and I was writing this next song, and I thought, man, I, I'm really doing it this time. I've got, I've got a little boy who gets lost in the woods. I've got the town comes out and they're trying to find him, and I've got these sailors who may or may not have gotten lost at sea, and all of these things are sort of illustrating an interior dialogue, an interior thing, without saying it so overtly. And I was really proud of myself. I felt like I had really made some progress. And then I realized that the name of this song is Save Me From Myself. <laughs> Who was? 